Now at five, we are learning the identities of the two little boys struck and killed by a train in Chester. The nine and 12 year olds were on the tracks with other children when they were hit on Saturday. So Wednesday night in the big story on Action News is the new tragic details about that deadly train accident. The Chester community is grieving these young boys. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez now spoke with those who knew the children. She joins us live in Chester with their story. Aliana. Well, Rick and Shari, we are learning more about the children who were struck and killed in this gruesome incident. And we're also learning a little bit more about exactly what happened that day on Saturday over the weekend. And school leaders are also speaking out and coming together to support their families. Good kids in the wrong place at the wrong time. Leaders at Chester Community Charter School are stepping up to show their support for two of their students who were tragically killed in a train accident on Saturday afternoon. A group of kids were reportedly hanging out on the tracks at 2nd and Angle Streets in Chester when a fast moving Amtrak train struck and killed two young boys. That was not unusual for them to be on the tracks. You know, it's not that far from the house. Chester Charter CEO David Clark says nine-year-old Jihad Atkinson and 12-year-old Ayer Wamak were well-mannered kids loved by their peers. Ayer was a former student who was recently homeschooled while Jihad was enrolled in second grade. You know, everybody liked him. You know, his teachers, uh, the principal, you know, the deans, his classmates, everybody loved him. You know, both of them have siblings here. They have cousins here and they have friends here. So it was very devastating for the entire school community. Clark tells me the other children who were on the tracks with them were able to escape. At the scene on Saturday night, a woman told Action News she warned the children to get off the tracks minutes before the accident. I said, oh, look at them children up there on that track. I said, y'all need to come down off that track. And they just look and I said, yeah, come down before y'all have an accident. Clark says the school is working with the district to provide more safe places for kids to go to outside of school. We have to learn from this. And we're going to have to provide more activities for our students. And right now, Chester Charter Schools is looking to raise money for the families to help them with funeral costs and any other needs they might have right now. And I can also tell you that there's a candlelight vigil scheduled for Friday at 7 p.m. at Martin Luther King Memorial Park here in Chester. Reporting live in Chester, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6, Action News. Shari. All right, Aliana, thank you.